Pacheco. We're dealing with an impressive, gifted fighter in Diego Pacheco. Diego Pacheco is in our eyes one of our hottest prospects in world boxing, not just US boxing. After I get this win, I do feel that people will start recognizing me more as a contender than as a prospect. They're all saying he's a superstar. But if he thinks he's coming over here and just getting someone who's going to step over, he's got another thing coming. He's a top fighter. He's, he has a lot of heart. I've been in a lot of tougher fighters than him. And he can say whatever he wants. Boys are cheap. He's making a big mistake. He's definitely making a big mistake. I want to knock him out. I want to stop him. Get ready for a fucking war. Hopefully he's working hard, man. I'm coming with everything I should let him. We're here in Seattle, Washington. Um, this is where I'm doing my camps now. This is where I'm training out of. I decided to come down here to train with Jose Benavidez Sr. and his whole camp. This is my room over here. My brother's. This is my other homie's room. My other brother, basically. And then my room. That's the first time you had your own place? Yeah, own place. First time. Made me feel like a grown man. <laughs> I feel I needed a chance to get out of LA. I needed to really be more focused. And, and yeah, there's just a lot of bad people in LA, you know? There's people that even though you don't do anything to them, they just want to mess with you or, or they see you doing good and want to like bring you down. So I just wanted to get away from that. Do you watch your thoughts back? Yeah, always. Like at my mom's house, this is playing all day. When I go back home, my little nephew, he's, he's, he gets so annoyed when my mom puts me on the TV. <laughs> like, not again, grandma, I'll take this off. <laughs> Every fight is a, is, a, is a very important fight to me. I just think about why I started boxing and why I'm here in the first place, you know, just wanting to give my family a better life, wanting to give my parents the life I feel they deserve. That's really what motivates me every day to, to, to get up and, and, and grind. He labels himself South Central's finest. I mean, if you can survive South Central, you can survive anything. Jack Cullen, I feel, is a, a good opponent. Finally, somebody that they know, I guess. If I beat him, then it's gonna be like, he beat this guy. And I hope people will start to believe in me a little bit more. Tell us who you're fighting, and tell us what's the state. Don't know who you're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're, what's he calling on his name now? Diego Pacheco, yeah. Jack Cullen, I'm fighting 11th of March. I'm fighting Diego Pacheco. I'm just down in Liverpool, sparring Callum Smith. I'm fighting 11th of March. Got a good opponent, tall, just like Callum, so yeah, sparring's perfect, you know. Six foot three, innit? Obviously, the lad I'm fighting six four. So yeah, tall, rangy, likes the backhand, and that's what we've been training him. The last fight with Manchester last year, Manchester Arena, Conor Ben's undercard. So I got a, got a win there, got a comfortable win. And then, should have been fine in December, but I ended up getting COVID, so I pulled out. And, and this has popped up, so you know, things happen for a reason. <laughs> the dreams were world title, the dreams were world title for every boxer, but step by step, just keep coming up and get signed up and just keep winning. He's talking about like he's a superstar, so I'll listen, get him over here. We'll see how good he is. Diego Pacheco. Diego Pacheco is in our eyes one of our hottest prospects in, in world boxing, not just US boxing. Oh, End of his right hand. Perfectly timed right. Luna walks right into it. We're dealing with a really, really impressive, gifted fighter in Diego Pacheco. After I get this win, I do feel that people will start recognizing me more as a contender than as a prospect. A fight with Edgar Berlanga would be a really big fight for me and him. Both are great fighters, you know, I'm a great fighter, he's a great fighter. He has a lot of people behind him, I have people behind me, he's Puerto Rican, I'm Mexican. It makes for a great rivalry and a great fight that people would love to see. I'm getting to that point where I want guys like that and, and really nothing less than that. Last year, um, 
somebody threw a brick through my mom's window through her house. After that, then I said, I was like, damn, hell no. I can't even go like to Target or like the corner store or shit like that without people like, seeing me. I think it's because I'm really tall. I'm easy to notice when I'm in the hood. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things in the hood that makes me want to get out and you know, be over here. <laughs> I've been part of David Benavides' last five fights. Every camp here is really tough. It's, it's good work, you know, it doesn't get better than this. So the first time I ever came down here, David reached out to me on the DMs, David Benavidez. After my uh, Saudi Arabia fight, okay. he's like, oh, I was watching that and um, I, you're really good and shit. You want to come down and work with me? I was like, hell yeah. That's what's gotten me the great wins, the great knockouts, you know, the preparation I've been doing. Um, that's the reason I'm here, working with them. There's other great sparring partners in here as well. and preparing better than ever for this fight. Sparring, like you said, they don't get better than this, so yeah, I'm super thankful for that. Two more weeks of hard work, and then it's five week. Back to doing what I do. I see it to be always be the B-side, so I'm not worrying about that. And uh, at the end of the day, as I, like it said there, uh, I, am, I am the underdog, and I'm gonna come in and just put the, put the performance of my life on, getting beat. Done all right, yeah, done decent. I'm happy with the spa. I sparred Callum years ago when he was a super middle, but he's moved up the weight and obviously I moved up the weight. You've been a consistent sparring partner of David Benavidez. What's that experience like? Well, obviously, it's really tough. You know, he's a really good fighter. Every time I'm in there with him, I learn something new. He pushes me more than anyone else, and that's exactly what I need. Listen, this is my life, you know what I mean? I'm not no person just stepping in and just getting a payday. It's a life-changing fight. I want to beat him, but I'm up at the top. Anything could happen, anything. I think this fight's really important. It's really important that I put on a great performance. I don't think I've been in a boring fight yet, so yeah, it's definitely been an exciting one. I want to knock him out. I want to stop him. You know, whatever round it comes in, if it's a body shot, it's a head shot, I just want to stop him. I've been in a lot of fighters than him. You can say whatever he wants. Where is the chief? He's making a big mistake. He's definitely making a big mistake. I'm coming with everything much you like. Get ready for a fucking war.